Hey folks, this is John Kay again. How you doing? Uh, thanks for watching this latest video. What I want to show in this video is uh, pretty much the same setup as the last one. Still running 12 volt primary with uh, junk crappy batteries and 36 volt secondary. Uh, just a quick recap. Amp drawer is uh, you know, swinging between about two and five hundred milliamps. I haven't changed anything there. The only thing I did change from the last video was um, I've increased the magnet coil gap a little bit. That's probably I don't know about an inch, an inch and a half, or about forty millimeters for the metric guys. Um, apart from that, it's exactly the same, and I've I've actually moved the coil. Uh, to the left a few millimeters just to retard it just just like John showed but apart from that it's exactly the same primary battery voltage swings around there so that's under load secondary battery voltage you know sitting at about 40.4 you can see as as the cap dumps that'll jump up to about 42 if the meter's fast enough to catch it but um, John B, as you requested, I've, uh, I've hooked the scope up here and this is uh, scoping straight across the coil. So you can see there the, the ground is kind of uh, that line there. You can see when it dips down that's the transistor on time. And the spike there is when the transistor switches off and you get the spike. Um, the scope is on the 10 volt scale times one and I'm on 20 milliseconds per division so if you can see this or you want to slow it down frame by frame you can kind of see the duty cycle on this um, the spike is pretty much at the top here showing what um, what the cap voltage is which if you count the, the number of grids is is around about 40 volts my scope's not perfectly calibrated so it's just to give you an idea of the waveform more than anything else so that's uh, I don't know I think it's kind of what we're looking for it's a bit of a square wave where the transistor <coughs> pardon me comes on and then uh, when the circuit switches off so you get that spike to the cap which I haven't changed and um, it's running well now moving the coil out did slow the rotor down I timed this at about 16 RPM which is sort of under, under the 20 mark and it seems to be charging fairly well um, the only other change I did was uh, I, I kind of ran this for a few hours today and my primary battery this guy down here was starting to get a little bit low and uh, the wheel was slowing down a fair bit so what I did was I I took the uh, one of the batteries out of the charging bag pardon me and rotated them over so um, yeah not saying here that this thing is may or may not uh, be able to sustain that for a long period of time with with rotating the batteries but you yeah, know who knows we'll wait and see so that's uh, about all I wanted to show you on this video is is pretty much the scope shot Let's see if you can have a another look at that again but um, I might see if I can um, get a better picture. Oh, you can kind of see two two pulses on there. That's uh, now at uh, 50 milliseconds per division on the time scale, and my camera's lost focus. Um, or if you want to see it at five millisecond, uh, sorry, 10 milliseconds per division, that's that's it there. Okay. Thanks for watching. John Corn out. Cheers. Bye.